So this isn't going to be an instructional how-to video. It is just uh, more my observations uh, of perceived issues with this PPI injector ball repair kit or PPI DI delete kit. So perhaps just take it as a word of caution if you're considering using these products. So this is an N54 cylinder head and why I'm doing it isn't because of the oval shaped bores that is the normal reason that you might do this. It's because there's corrosion in the cylinder head in the injector bores. And uh, I, as part of rebuilding this car, bought it, had this problem. Previous owners probably driven around without the vanity cover on the engine or the engine cow. And so this, obviously there's a valve cover that covers this area, but this uh, internal channel here is exposed then. And water, uh, if it gets in there, it all sits around the, the spark plugs and runs down the sides of the injectors and sits down in the injector bores there and, and corrodes the bores. So that's why I'm doing this job and I'll show you that in a second. But uh, that's how the injectors sit uh, in there and show you on the other side then how that looks with the injector removed there's the seal there in the tip of the injector the teflon seal that sits about oh, what is that probably about four or five millimeters uh, from the start of that chamfered edge and uh, the water is sitting down in amongst in this area here. So this uh, injector wasn't out of this engine. All the injectors that came out all had massive amounts of white corrosion uh, on here. So if you pull your injectors out and you've got like a whitish sort of powder material on them, uh, that's uh, aluminium corrosion that's uh, sticking to the, the stainless steel injector. So this area here was, was, was heavily uh, marked on the injectors that came out. Uh, I've been soda blasting, so there's all this white sort of soda blasting powder on everything, but uh, uh, if I try and poke the camera there, you'll see up inside that bore there, uh, the pitting and corrosion in that injector bore. Uh, this next one over here is probably the worst, really bad. You see the level of corrosion and pitting uh, at the other end of that hole? and even about halfway down where the seal would be sitting, it's already corroding. So they're not oval shaped, but I'm concerned that uh, all that corrosion may lead to an issue. So I decided to do this, uh, this kit as a preemptive measure, uh, inserting or in installing the injector bore repair inserts. And what I've found is that one, you would not want to do this job with the head on your car. Uh, as, a, as a qualified mechanic and automotive engineer, I wouldn't recommend it to anybody doing this with the head on your car. Uh, it, it was virtually impossible to do this without bits of metal falling into the engine. So that's the first thing. Uh, they do provide the, the kit with uh, this hose, uh, which is effectively a compression tester extension line and uh, the idea is you put that in the, the spark plug hole and then blow compressed air into this chamber and hope that all the little metal filings come out the, uh, the, the hole, uh, the injector bore hole. Uh, but uh, yeah, I couldn't trust that that, that would happen. Uh, there's two other reasons that you wouldn't want to do it. And that, the, the easy, uh, first reason is that you can end up with little bits of metal this one i'll try and zoom in bear with me maybe you can see that in the center of frame there try and slide my fingernail up right on the tip of my fingernail there that little bit of metal uh that was actually a larger flake than that that was caught there that even if you're blowing compressed air around, it would have sat there, broke off some point as soon as you started the engine, and then you've got a bit of metal inside your engine. So whenever you're drilling or tapping, inevitably you get bits of swarf and that that, are, that end up on this, this edge. Uh, that even putting the grease on there and everything else, you, you're just never gonna be able to completely remove those um, unless you have some very special tools to do so. Uh, now, that little bit of metal could have broken off inside the engine, but even if it doesn't, it becomes a hot spot, and that leads to the second issue with this. So, the injector bore insert is actually fitted to this. You can see a nice smooth finish there. In fact, let's just 
that's the insert there that is uh, that's screwed in from the top. So this slotted part comes in from the top. And so you can see at the bottom of it, there's some sharp edges where the, where the tap has cut threads just on the bottom edge there, just in front of my fingernail. And all of those sharp edges, as well as that little bit of metal that I flake on the edge that I pointed out, are all sources of pre-ignition. So if under the right conditions that that edge is gonna heat up, come glowing red, uh, the sharp edges get hot and then it leads to pre-ignition. Now I'm not saying this will definitely lead to pre-ignition, but you are playing Russian roulette and it's worth knowing what pre-ignition is and the catastrophic damage that it can cause. Pre-ignition is a spontaneous self-ignition of the air-fuel mixture before the spark plug fires. So both knock and pre-ignition can have similar damaging consequences for the engine, but it's usually pre-ignition that causes more damage more rapidly because pre-ignition happens on the compression stroke, which means that the piston is actually heading headfirst into the shock waves and increased temperatures of pre-ignition. It creates pre-ignition. It creates a ignition source uh, for the fuel and air as it enters the cylinder. Pre-ignition is much more damaging than detonation or knock as well. Uh, we're probably really lucky that the piston looks as good as it does. Normally pre-ignition you're going to end up melting a hole through the crown of the piston or blowing the side out of the piston in, in merely a few engine cycles. So the you see the spark plug threads there. When a spark plug is, th is threaded in you don't see any of the threads either of the hole there or the spark plug itself. The spark plug's designed to, you know, it, it ends where the thread ends there. Uh, but that can't be said for these inserts. You inevitably end up with this. And the, even if, I mean, they supply it with this tap here, which is a sort of starting tap. Even if it was a finishing tap or a, or a uh, that had a, for a blind hole, uh, I still couldn't trust that you would be able to cut that thread to just the right length or just the right position and not leave those sharp edges. So, yeah, that's a, a major concern, I think, that um, you, if you're going to use this kit, take your cylinder head off and, and then you can deal with these edges. So all I'm going to do is, is mark where they are and then get a, a file and just carefully file them down and get rid of them. Um, maybe use a Dremel, but I think I'll just do it by hand with a file so I don't risk damaging anything else. And the same with the DI delete plug. So there's a DI delete plug fully installed in this hole. And you see that the same problem exists. There are sharp edges of the thread left on either side, top and bottom, not more so just on that, on that edge there. Uh, focus on it there we go so uh, the di delete plug that's what it looks like so it's just a blank a blank plug and my intention is to do the injector bore repair kit now uh, while the head was off uh, because of that corrosion and later on if i choose to go di delete then i can just unscrew them and screw in these delete plugs so it is very good for that purpose but once again i just wouldn't recommend doing it while the cylinder head is installed on the engine it really has to come off uh, a few other things that i've i'd note about it is in the kit uh, the inserts don't come with a tool to, to tighten them down. Uh, suggestion is you just find the right size screwdriver and away you go. Um, yeah, I'd, it'd be good if they followed the what what uh, Hewn Solutions do with these NS300L inserts. This is a completely different product for a different purpose from a different supplier. But they come with this just laser cut. It's probably just stainless steel laser cut one millimeter or 1.6 millimeter laser cut and that slots down in there and ensures that you have a positive drive on on this insert when you drive at home the problem with these ones if you slip with a screwdriver my camera is not focusing here let's just try and, if you slip with a screwdriver and damage those corners where the screwdriver slots are in there if you damage those 
then when you insert the injector, it's going to cut the seal or damage the seal as you push it down and into place. So there's no recess designed into them. It appears that the outside diameter of the hole at this end is the same all the way through. So it is a, a, a real concern, I think, that if you're using a screwdriver to tighten these down and you slip with it, then you risk putting a burr on the edge of, of those slots and then damage the injector seal when it goes in the engine. So just to recap here as well, that this problem doesn't exist with the stock injector. See there, no sharp edges. There's, you know, an edge there, but it's nowhere near as sharp as a cut thread edge. And that just protrudes, it just sits exactly like it does there. So that's, uh, that's my thoughts about this PPI kit. I'm tapping the last hole here, I'm almost through. And just to show you what you're dealing with with these shavings, there they are there. So you can see up the hole there, the end of the tap maybe, and uh, see all the little shavings coming down ahead of it. So if you think that putting grease on the sides of the tap or on your drill bit is gonna catch all them, uh, or even most of them, you're dreaming. And those little shavings are tiny. There's some of them there. So just to put it in perspective, there's the size of my finger and you can see the size of some of those tiny little shavings. So they may not, the whole shaving may not fit down the side of the piston just sitting above the ring, but you definitely catch some of them, the edges of them there. And uh, I'd almost guarantee 99% chance that you aren't removing all of those uh, from, your, from your cylinder. So yeah, I really think that this is a process. As much as I think it is a good kit and the concept is good, uh, it shouldn't be done with the engine head or the he cylinder head installed on the engine.